There's really no boundaries, which I like. Our teachers don't really say, you know, you can't do this or that. It's be the scientist. We make mistakes, so it's okay for you to do that. I don't think all my IB students are, are science-oriented students, but I think they like the challenge of critical thinking and having them become not only scientists in the classroom, but being able to challenge things and having opinions and being able to test things or ideas that they have. We basically set up our own labs and just be the teacher rather than just having it taught to us and just having papers to read. Or uh, the self-respiration is three steps, so she had a hard time, she had the last step. So she had a hard time figuring out how she was going to explain that to the class. So she made a poster um, of the, uh, the first couple of steps in a general sense, which, so she presented that first, which wasn't required at all. So it was kind of a good recap of how is this fitting into the whole picture of cell respiration. And that's just, like, that's kind of an example of the IBs you'll be able to do the research on your own rather than having a teacher just stand there and lecture you. It's definitely a challenge, it's not an easy course, um, but they shouldn't be discouraged to take it either.